Think Tech Hawaii. Civil engagement lives here. Aloha and mabuhay. Welcome to Pinoy Power Hawaii. I am your host, Emmy Ortega Anderson. We want to thank again the wonderful staff of Think Tech Hawaii for giving us the opportunity to share with you uh, topics concerning uh, powerful Filipinos in Hawaii. Today, I have um, two very wonderful young mothers that will uh, share with us their secrets into finding balance in this lopsided world. So without further ado, it is a pleasure to uh, introduce my uh, two guests who will help us with our empowerment. Uh, we aim to enrich, enlighten, educate, entertain. And the big picture is to empower. Uh, on my left, immediate left, is my lovely daughter, uh, Jamie Nicole Summer Anderson Tio. Uh, we also have her BFF, uh, Jenny Gibson, and uh, they are BFF, and we want to uh, thank them for taking the time out to be with us to share the secrets and how to make their relationship work, whether it's at home, in serving the community, uh, their church calling but most of all, being a wonderful wife and a joyful mother. So uh, I'm gonna turn over the time first to Jenny uh, to tell us a little bit uh, about, about Jenny. Thank you. Well, thanks for having me. I'm, I'm so excited. I'd love to do anything um, with Jamie. And um, we actually met because of church calling. We were, um, teaching children. Jamie was teaching children how to sing, and um, I was helping to teach about 40 children in our church, um, ages about 3 to 12. And um, it's where I met Nolan. And um, really why I wanted to be Jamie's friend, because he's so incredible, um, really smart. And um, I've always had a love for children, mm -hmm. um, and that's kind of why I went into teaching. Um, I knew that I wanted, I, I believe in lifelong learning, and I knew that I wanted to work with kids and helping them to feel empowered. So the best mm -hmm. way to make children feel empowered, I think, um, so I'm a mother of four, I don't know if I said that yet, um, and I have a 16-year-old, a 15-year-old, um, a 13-year-old, and 11-year-old. Wow, so, and you're only 18, <laughs> right, yeah. Jenny? <laughs> yeah, 20, I'm 20. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it is so, so wonderful to uh, hear this uh, very inspiring stories about young mothers that uh, have made it all work. Uh, so we're going to turn the spotlight over to my lovely daughter. And uh, Jamie, please uh, tell our uh, audience a little bit more about you. Hi, Mom. Thanks for having me and my bestie mm. on TV. Not going to lie, it's exciting. A little terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> um, my name is Jamie Anderson Tiao. I am a mother of one, a very good one. Jani mentioned his name, Nolan. And my grandson. Yes, mm -hmm. my mother's pride and joy, mm -hmm. her apok. <laughs> apoko. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. And um, yes, like Jani said, we, we met through church. And as soon as we moved into Kailua and I saw Jani, I was like, we're going to mm -hmm. be best friends. I know it. <laughs> yes. Wow. Uh, so powerful to uh, uh, have you on and share your stories. And as I watch you folks uh, mingle and interact, and of course, uh, you just have a wonderful way of uh, relating to each other. Like you've known each other for a long, long time, almost like sisters. Yeah. So Agreed. that's what we want to yeah. share to uh, our audiences. How do you find uh, balance, or how are you able to uh, uh, juggle everything from your business to your uh, community calling, your church calling, your marriage, and be still being a joyful mother? So let's uh, go back to you. You seem to be the pro with four children, and mm -hmm. you've been awarded the uh, uh, Young Mother of the Year. That's, that's an achievement, Jenny. Mm -hmm. Do you find time to sleep? We, I don't sleep very much. <laughs> <laughs> but it is all in that balance that you're talking about. 
Mm -hmm. um, you know, you try to get as much sleep so you have beauty sleep. But I think um, every day you wake up, and I, I like to think of, I think mothering and um, being a part of a family, raising up a strong family, I kind of like to think of it like, it's called the groundhog illusion. So, you know, you're waking up every single morning and you're trying to eat well and you're trying to take care of yourself and mm -hmm. you're trying to run your business and you're, you, we, are, we are doing all these things. We're serving in our church. We're serving at our school on the PTSA. Um, we're serving um, in our communities and mm -hmm. gardens and trying to empower our young girls. And, but at the same time, remembering that we want our children to mm -hmm. also feel safe. So always kind of having... Um, the knowledge that everyone's watching you, but especially your children. Your children are mm -hmm. watching you, and we want them to, to learn by our example that um, it's important to serve, um, to have charity. And going back to the groundhog effect, I think as a parent, you feel like you are in this pattern of the groundhog day. Mm -hmm. You're waking up, and you're tired, and you're, you're making their lunches, and you're sending them off to school, and then you're cleaning up. and then running your own business. Like, I watch you too and how successful you are, but look at how, what you did for your family, you know? And um, you don't realize that that feeling of that everyday parent, parenting mm -hmm. and raising your family, in the moment, you feel like maybe you're not making a difference. Mm -hmm. And you see, like, the mistakes that you are making and you're thinking, are your children going to get what you're trying to teach them? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But as I watch my children grow up, and um, mm -hmm. now that they're a little older, I realize everything we did with them when mm -hmm. they were little, it really wasn't Groundhog Day. Mm -hmm. You know, you really are making a difference in their life every day, and it takes just a little bit, just like exercise. Yes. Me and Jamie do yoga together That's during wonderful. the week, <laughs> during nap time. Uh -huh. And um, it's where we can kind of see and talk about how our children are learning, how they are growing up the way that we want them yes. to. Yes. Oh, thank you for clarifying that. I, I like that uh, groundhog uh, illu illusion mm -hmm. that everything looks well from the outside, but yet they don't really uh, uh, have an idea of what's happening behind the scenes. <laughs> and uh, I, I'm going to flip the time to my daughter, and I hopefully uh, I did uh, half of... Uh, the work that I needed to do as a role model, as, as a mother, uh, when she was growing up, uh, because like the saying goes, uh, children live what they learn. Mm -hmm. So in other words, you mentioned about being a great role model, and uh, that's what they're gonna, your children gonna turn out to be, because they watch you growing up, and they will repeat that. You know, it's, it's like a recorder. So, Jamie and Nak, please yes, uh, tell us there. about <laughs> your growing up and how how was I or uh, <laughs> Dad and I as parents. So, do you really want to know <laughs> <laughs> how much time do we have? <laughs> yeah, that's me. Um, we might not have enough time, but no, my mother. I I'm not just saying this just because she's here either, but mm -hmm. she really was wonderful, and she she was home with us, and I think that made the biggest difference in our lives like if you weren't there for us like we could have been doing we could have been getting into trouble we could have been you know making not so <laughs> not so good choices but you were there for us and we knew you had our back for us even though you were threatening to beat us and swearing at us <laughs> in Filipino the love was there <laughs> and um, you, you you instilled with a in us like the value of work and just um, just made us you made me out of my comfort zone she would make me go into the store and pick up a loaf of butter on pond bread <laughs> and I hated doing that kind of thing I hated like going and like interacting with people I didn't know even if it was just to buy a loaf of bread <laughs> uh -huh. but it was just doing that over and over again or ordering my own food at McDonald's even though she wasn't there and I was short on change it was just learning that this was the, this is pretty much my nightmare but guess what you live through it and you learn and um and you turn out okay and yeah, you are going to get rejected. You are going to, um, you are going to have bad days, and things don't 
turn out the way you want. But you, you live and you learn and you, you move on and you grow from that. And so I feel like that's one of the biggest things I learned from um, growing up with my parents. And um, I'm so grateful. <laughs> I'm so grateful. <laughs> <laughs> so, wow, OK. <laughs> We're, we're <laughs> laughing, and yet uh, behind all those laughters, there's uh, tears of joy. And I can't help but uh, get emotional and teary-eyed because I'm so proud of the fact that my daughter, <laughs> who was uh, so shy and was into her own, um, uh, I don't know how to describe it, but I, I couldn't get her to come out of her comfort zone because uh, she was too shy. She wouldn't uh, want to do anything. She would clam up. Introvert. Yeah. Yes. The extreme. <laughs> that, that is the word. But watching her now, you would never think that she was that shy little girl who would never want to do anything because she just wouldn't want to come out. And looking at her now, oh, it was uh, th those uh, <laughs> encouragement uh, paid off because she's grown up to be uh, one super uh, wonderful uh, woman that she is today, and oh, I, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna really uh, praise her for taking notes because I wasn't the best mother, but I, I, uh, very human, you know. I made my mistakes along the way, but uh, in the back, I always wanted my children to do well. So they were uh, first on my list and my priority. So a lot of raw emotions here. So <laughs> uh, thank you, Jamie, for making motherhood for mom a lot easier and wonderful and pleasurable. Mm. So yeah, thank you for being so honest. And uh, Jenny, I know you can relate to our story as a mother and daughter because the emotions here that we are displaying are real. Right. So uh, before we go go on, we need to uh, go on our quick break. You are uh, tuning in to uh, Pinoy Power Hawaii, where we share real stories, real emotions <laughs> that touches the heart. And today, it is a pleasure to share with you uh, some of our secrets on how to keep things balanced to uh, be that wonderful wife, that joyful mother, that uh, only have the best interests of our children, our spouse, our family, and of course, uh, still be able to uh, uh, find love at home. So we will be right back on Pinoy Power Hawaii. Hello everyone, I'm DeSoto Brown, the co-host of Human Humane Architecture, which is seen on Think Tech Hawaii every other Tuesday at 4 p.m. And with the show's host, Martin Despang, we discuss architecture here in the Hawaiian Islands and how it not only affects the way we live, but other aspects of our life, not only here in Hawaii, but internationally as well. So join us for Human Humane Architecture every other Tuesday at 4 p.m. on Think Tech Hawaii. Hey, Stan the Energy Man here on Think Tech Hawaii. And they won't let me do political commentary, so I'm stuck doing energy stuff, but I really like energy stuff, so I'm gonna keep on doing it. So join me every Friday on Stan the Energy Man at lunchtime, at noon, on my lunch hour. We're gonna talk about everything energy, especially if it begins with the word hydrogen. We're gonna definitely be talking about it. We'll talk about how we can make Hawaii cleaner, how we can make the world a better place, just basically save the planet. Even Miss America can't even talk about stuff like that anymore. We got it nailed down here. So we'll see you on Friday at noon with Stan the Energy Man. Aloha. We want to welcome you back to uh, the second portion of our program, Pinoy Power Hawaii. Today we are having um, a nice conversation with my uh, daughter, Jamie Anderson Tiao, who is a mom and entrepreneur and also her BFF, that's Jenny Gibson, who won the title of Young Mother of the Year. Uh, she uh, runs her own preschool and uh, also a wonderful, joyful mother of four. So we're gonna continue with our conversation and uh, how um, 
they're able to manage uh, to find balance in a lopsided or a imperfect world. So uh, the emotions are out of the way. <laughs> We're going to move on to uh, our agenda. And uh, let's talk about some of the things that you do to keep your uh, family uh, sane and to uh, keep the love at home. Uh, Jenny. Um, okay, there are so many good things um, that we do. I think we like to say that adventure is out there. We like adventure and kind mm -hmm. of um, spontaneous adventure. And me and Jamie have taken our kids on just wild adventures. And our family, <laughs> surprise Disneyland trips. And, uh, <laughs> just to keep it fun, you know, because uh -huh. there's so much routine in our day to day. Mm -hmm. um, but I think. One of the things I like to kind of base everything, whatever we do in our family. Um, when I won Young Mother of the Year in 2012, mm -hmm. I got to go to DC and meet with mothers across the nation. Yes. And one of the things that we talked about was how children want to belong. And no matter what you do, um, you want your children to feel like they belong to you. And that's kind of a motto that we, me and my husband have kind of kept. Um, whatever we do, what, you know, we created a, a family motto and a, a family crest um, so that our children know that they do, they belong to mm -hmm. us. You want them to just know that they are loved. And I think even for my husband, you know, you want your husband to feel loved as well. And when you are in your own little knit family and eating dinner every single mm -hmm. night and talking about their day, um, you even feel like you belong to as a mother. And I think as a mother and as a person, it's important to feel those things. So yes, that belonging, you know. I'm glad you mentioned the, the sense of belonging to be able to come home or uh, be able to be yourself and uh, feel that love that uh, resonates from uh, the comforts of uh, a loving home. Right. Yeah. So, Jamie, did you feel uh, that way growing up in our home? Yes. <laughs> I knew that home was a safe place. Um, and, yeah, I, we were, we shared, we shared um, our, how our day went over the dinner table. And I think that, that in itself, like, mm -hmm. I, I strive to do that with my family now. And that makes all mm -hmm. the difference, just having that time together every day. Yes, quality time. And one of the things that uh, I found that work is uh, getting our kids involved in whatever it is that we're doing, whether it's uh, house cleaning, doing the house chores, or uh, cooking. Uh, Jamie and Jenna always had their part and of course Jamie took uh, cooking a little bit more seriously and this is why she's such okay. a great uh, cook to this day mm -hmm. because they were hands-on you know we were making round monkey balls to make mm -hmm. mo monkey uh, mo monkey ball dessert yeah. and uh, to this day we still do it together because uh, to us it's uh, quality time right. and it reminds us of uh, the importance of uh, being together as a uh, family or in unity, yes. Um, you know, living in Hawaii is uh, very, very expensive. And uh, I know that you found ways to do things that are affordable or uh, do things close to nature. So you don't have to do the extravagant things to keep the kids happy. Uh, <laughs> share with us uh, some of those things that you do, uh, like being in the theater and uh, the oh, children yeah. uh, find enjoyment out of that, right. you know? It's a totally new adventure, and yet it expands their uh, horizons and their learning curve because they get to act out and actually uh, get satisfaction from uh, being able to display their talents. I totally forgot that we do <laughs> children. Yes, yes. 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 Yeah, we do. I think we both are good at budgeting. So that's why, too, it's so fun, because we are always thinking out of the box what we can do. We love to hike and go to the beach. And yeah, mm -hmm. Children's Theater of Oahu, too, plays a yes. kind yeah. of a big part of our life. For that is. Half a year for the last, <laughs> you know, I had to mention years. that. Yeah. Yeah, so because we're a nonprofit, and all the kids can come and learn how to love theater and helps them with stage presence. and. Make, we actually have created a family. Mm -hmm. You know, all the kids are close, and but they do. They get to learn how to speak in front of the world, and they can mm -hmm. 
kind of create their own platform for what they need to express and kind of helps to empower them exactly. to be better yes. people as well. I forgot it's, about it's that. It's building uh, confidence and to be able to get on the stage with all the spotlights, kind of remind you of the, today, it and does. be able to perform and uh, do what your uh, role is supposed to uh, do. Mm -hmm. And we, we've seen the success of uh, your hard work behind the scenes. Yeah. And we've totally enjoyed it, <laughs> yes. So um, it doesn't mean that you have to put out uh, a lot of money to keep mm -hmm. the uh, kids interested and uh, to keep their mind occupied. And um, it, it's just so rewarding. Right. Yes. yes. So that's a big part, right? I know. Okay. I didn't even think of that. <laughs> yes. We just forget about it yeah, for a little while before we Wait. jump head first back into the theater world. <laughs> True. <laughs> I think just serving, too. We are always kind of doing service projects mm -hmm. and um, allowing our children. I mean, they're building their own home. Yes. So that's incredible. And we are neighbors. Uh -huh. So we get to go and watch and learn how to build a home. And That is so exciting. Those are um, life skills, too. Yes. Uh, best friends and neighbors. And neighbors. We're so uh, excited. We get to live unreal. by each other. <laughs> it, yeah. it is. Mm -hmm. And to be able to spend that type of quality time while uh, f for Jamie, building a home and uh, uh, teaching uh, not only Nolan uh, the values of hard work and also uh, putting in uh, an honors uh, work. Uh, without she has a tool belt. <laughs> She drops off the makes his lunch, makes uh -huh. lunch for Josh, uh -huh. and then comes to my house, puts her hat on and her tool. <laughs> or sometimes we'll work out first. Yeah. Right. And then she we're puts on the hat and the tool belt, and she goes to work. Goes to work and, and uh, they let build. let my children. Yeah. They let my children come uh -huh. and help. Oh, and they, they love it. And they're such it's great Incredible. Help. They love having a task. Yeah. They love working. They, we just need to give them that opportunity and chance. Yes. They'll surprise. These are actually a uh, pertinent or important part of learning mm -hmm. because uh, while they do that, they're uh, putting in those skills into their, uh, uh, their, wire, their chest it's true. Uh, and they'll be able to pull it out at a later time, perhaps in their adult life and say, hey, I learned it, this growing up uh, with my mom and dad. And those are pertinent, important lessons that we are passing on to our children for their future generations. Yeah, they're building their own <laughs> home. From the ground up <laughs> for the second time. For the second time. For the second time. And, I mean, I feel like it's blessing our family. Uh -huh. We get to yes. have family home evening together and family fun night. Yes, and so yes. Great. Yeah. I mean, all these years. We're talking so. about blessings, and I know that uh, our faith uh, has a lot to do with uh, uh, the success of our family, mm -hmm. our marriage, our uh, our extended uh, family. Uh, how does uh, your faith intertwine with uh, your success? Or you know, I'm looking at my list on uh, the way to be, and it's from the prophet. Mm -hmm. Uh, Gordon B. Hinckley, you know, uh, he teaches us or remind us that uh, it's really, really uh, important uh, to be grateful, right. you know, uh, be thankful for uh, all the things that are around us. And uh, uh, some of us take things for granted. We don't often express uh, gratitude, but it's important part of uh, uh, life circle. Every yeah. day, uh -huh. you just have to have that gratitude. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Do you agree with me when I say that, uh, well, you've heard it many times over, that uh, uh, life is a lifelong journey and uh, adventure, that uh, in order to be smart, we need to uh, keep our options open and be willing to absorb new things to learn so we can be smarter. Uh -huh. can, you, can you add to that, to be involved, to be clean, to be true? Be positive, be humble, be still, be powerful, so you, can, you two can wrap it up on how you apply these uh, way to be in your life to make your life uh, a little bit of heaven on earth. Uh, Jenny. Got to go first? Okay. Sure? <laughs> totally. Yeah, I think um, you got it. <laughs> do you know that's one of my favorite books? Mine too. <laughs> I, I and when we were growing up, I'm sure, and you know, we had those sayings: "Be true, mm -hmm. be humble." Mm -hmm. And I, um, 
yeah, way to be. How are you going to be um, in your life? And I think those values have stuck with me, of course. It is a strong foundation for our family that we're trying to instill into our children. Yes. This attitude of gratitude um, every single day, even though things get hard, right? We have this saying in our house, and I, one of the prophets said it, we can do hard things. And we do the hard things with being all those, standing on all those values uh -huh. um, while we struggle through whatever adversities that we have. Um, and I think that yes. as I've lived those things, mm -hmm. as, as I've become a mom, um, I like to call them mother-altering moments. Yes. Instead of mom, I call them M-A-M. <laughs> and it's, you know, the, they're the moments that you're trying to instill in your children, this, this pure love, this charity with yes. each other. Mm -hmm. And it's like watching your children get things uh -huh. it's, mm -hmm. and witnessing, at, witnessing them as a mother, it changes you. These it's, moments yes. that you like how you're teaching Jamie in mm -hmm. the kitchen, and you'll remember them forever, and she will remember them yes. forever. Or Jamie, them you have... Uh, a few moments to wrap it up, you know. Yeah, just mm -hmm. tears. That's all I, have. <laughs> I know my daughter. <laughs> all my emotion just yes. comes out of my tear ducts. Mm -hmm. So if I'm happy or sad, <laughs> but uh -huh. um, I, everything that's been said is just spot on. I mean, and there's so much that can be said about motherhood, and just like Danny said, like there are moments when you just realize that what you're doing for your child is just. It's going to make them like become that best person that you hope they can be. Mm -hmm. Like even something small, like letting your child take home a sick chick baby chick. Yes, <laughs> that was so rewarding. Yeah, we nurtured that. Uh, it's still alive, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes, N Nolan begged to take home a yes. little sickly chicken chick baby chick on uh -huh. from. Um, my mom's farm, and I just, I just thought in my mind, I was like, this is extra work. But I asked him if he was sure he wanted to do it, and I was like, okay, learning experience. This yes. is for him. It's so rewarding that uh, he wanted to sa save uh, the chick's life. We call mm -hmm. him thyroid, but uh, <laughs> is he's alive, and it's because. <laughs> Uh, that uh, humanity, <laughs> the compassion that comes out of my grandson. So it's so rewarding. Mm -hmm. I want to thank both of you for uh, uh, bringing back uh, true emotions into <laughs> this show and how uh, your uh, uh, struggles and uh, your uh, early learning has uh, become a, an important part of your success today as uh, wonderful uh, wife and a joyful mother. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to congratulate both of you on uh, the success and all the volunteer work and community work that you're doing. You are truly pure uh, children of God. And uh, Auntie Emmy, Mama Emmy, want to thank both of you for the empowerment. Uh, we want to thank you too for being with us to be able to feel uh, these true emotions, the joy the joys of motherhood and being a wonderful wife. Uh, we want to thank you again for tuning in to uh, another uh, empowering moment with Pinoy Power Hawaii. I am your host, Emmy Ortega Anderson, saying million mahalos, mabuhay, and maraming salamat po.